So guys, uh, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to use Kate Engine really quickly uh, because I don't have the time to do that really uh, detailed. I uh, might do a more detailed tutorial in future. So you have to download Kate Engine's source code, not the release of Kate Engine. Um, so basically here code and then download zip. But I recommend you to uh, get an older version than the newest 1.8 because um, it's really buggy and as you can see it has a lot of issues. So um, I recommend you to get the Cat Engine from my video description. This is Cat Engine 1.5, which is a really stable Cat Engine. So I'll provide a link in the video description for you to use. And then you also have to download the stuff for it. So I'm going to show you how to download uh, everything so you can use Kate Engine. So um, the first thing you need is uh, hacks. Uh, d d d download. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. So it's this program, and uh, uh, you don't need to get. You are not supposed to get the newest version. You are supposed to get 4.1.5. The link is in the video description. Uh, yeah, then uh, just install this thing. Don't install the newest version, as I said. It's needed to be 4.1.5. Other versions have compatibility problems, which is not good. Uh, so I already did that. And after you've done that, you have to go on. Uh, so look up m dash obide which is basically me and then slash fnf modding tutorial the link is in the video description and there's easy setup dot bat this is a little script so that you don't have to type th this thing out manually you just open a uh, program and there we go so click on raw for this and then right click click on save as and then you have to select this file type as all files and remove the .txt at the end uh, uh, make it .bat only at the end and then click save uh, so I already did that so it's telling uh, me if I want to replace I say yes and then uh, what you have to do is just open this thing and if it shows something like this say this what that was and then run anyway and then uh, if everything's good it should take you to the screen and work so you also need git for this to work I just forgot so you can get that on git scm there you go you can download that here and uh, everything else should be fine so if you then it asks you about something called flixel command alias um, this is uh, something we don't need so just say no and then it will tell you choose your default IDE uh, IDE is basically the program you will use to code so I recommend you Visual Studio Code I use it myself so I'm going to pick number three for Visual Studio Code and if it says something with templates just say no and uh, yeah let it do its uh, little job uh, so it's saying you already have installed for me because well I actually did but after that's done it should say setup finished installing all required hacks libraries and in case that's done just press any key to close and then you have to install uh, the worst part at least for me which is uh, what is called yeah Visual Studio uh, itself not the Visual Studio code well the actual complete IDE with uh, which is really uh, really huge this one uh, so uh, it's free for it's free for the community edition professional and enterprise uh, are paid so use community uh, it's only free when you use a Microsoft account, but you don't have to pay anything. So just click this and let it download it. So um, 
I don't. Uh, I already have this installed, and this provides something called Visual Studio uh, Installer. There you go. And here you basically can install stuff to the Visual Studio program, which we will need to. So this is what it will look like during setup progress after that first phase is done. Let me wait. Okay. So you go to uh, standalone components and you have to look for I think only four or two components uh... let me remember what it was, so it was Windows SDK there you go, Windows 10 SDK and then whatever newest version currently is and you also need something with C++ um... what was it? Yeah, it's a uh, MSVC something. Let me see what I have. Yeah, so it's a uh, MSVC to Visual Studio 2019, 64, 86 build tools, newest. And after that, it, this will like take four gigabytes of storage, which is a lot. Then you click on install, and this should install. And after that's done, you are ready to do your first compile and I actually really surprised that it only took six minutes so far I hope I also don't sa sound sick because yeah you should know why I'm not really good at English so I can't explain what I mean really good but I still hope that you understand so uh... L let's uh, get the Kate engine there you go this is what uh, the Kate engine we need. Uh, you have to get this folder out of, you know. So it's uh, this one. Cool. Uh, after you got the folder, you just go to open Windows Terminal and then you do lime test windows and uh, this will take very long um, especially for the first time but don't worry um, after the first time it will uh, not take very long uh, so this depends on your computer uh, so mine is a 2012 machine which is well an old desktop uh, yeah so this will take a while uh... for me it takes around twenty minutes it's really long and it depends on your computer but it still takes like extremely long even on some higher end computers uh... it's uh... yeah you have to wait a little uh, time so uh, let me skip this and after that's done the game should start automatically and uh, there you go then you have your uh, thing set up then you can also open this with Visual Studio Code that's why we picked it you also have to install in Visual Studio Code some stuff when you open that program uh, yeah so here it is you have to go under uh, yeah you can go like under source and let's say you want to uh, let's say you want to like here is the source code files you can change code and stuff uh, uh, who was its name again yeah brightfire makes good tutorials on how to edit the source code uh, yeah you can check out his cool tutorials just make sure that it's Kate engine and not the normal game because the normal game is a bit different uh... yeah uh, it can get a bit complicated if you don't know how to code uh, and stuff but i think you should because uh, yeah uh, you wouldn't uh, understand how, what Kate engine means and stuff so yeah pretty cool stuff so let's say I wanted to make a change later uh, then I could basically go into that file 
and for this to work properly you also have to install some extensions like this one and some other one called line and then it should work and uh, it, you don't really need a lot of uh, stuff so every time you're done you do line test windows but it won't take very long uh, it just depends on how much you changed uh, after the first time because it's the first time it has to apply literally everything and that's why it takes so long but um, I still hope you like this tutorial uh, so I won't wait I will pause the video now and go back when this thing is done so see ya so yeah uh, it worked but the uh, video for some reason was corrupted after that point I also don't know why uh, I guess Windows moment <laughs> uh, well it should just launch the game as I said you can make changes to your code and every time you made a change and uh, you made changes and stuff and you want to try it out you do lime test windows and it should do it and uh, yeah just like any other game is going uh, getting programmed as uh, yeah that's how FNF modding works even to this day but if you don't really like the idea of needing to edit source code and stuff check out Psych Engine it's a good engine too that I heard of just needs a mods folder to uh, make mods and stuff so yeah pretty cool but uh, as I said you can also use uh, Kate Engine which is uh, which makes your mod more professional and you can customize more than on Psych Engine and it's just more loved by uh, content creators and the FNF community so yeah that's why I made the tutorial on Kate Engine not Psych Engine also I don't know how to use Psych Engine I don't know if I even pronounce everything correctly because yeah I'm from Germany and uh, yeah don't speak English as my main language but still uh, thank you for watching I guess